I'm Amanda Cavallaro. Today I'd like to share with you how Firebase helped me land my dream job as a developer advocate at Vonage. Let's go all the way back when I was little. I used to play with many games. That helped me learn incremental levels of difficulty and ultimately being more interested in problem solving. I also had a computer at home because my dad used to work with computers, write software programs. We had a lot of experiences playing games and building things together on the computer. At the age of nine, I had the opportunity to use my HTML and CSS knowledge to build an online community to talk about the thing that was my biggest interest at the time, Japanese animation. I created a community that people could talk about Sailor Moon no matter where they were in Brazil. Uh, interesting fact, my nickname at the time as a webmaster was Chibi Chibi BR and up to this date people still call me Chibi. I was just fascinated by the power of community. The fact that someone like me from a small city in Brazil could connect with people from all over my country to talk about our shared common topic of interest is truly amazing. I feel just so lucky that today I joined my passion for creating, building things, computers, programming and community, working as a developer advocate. Let's see how Firebase helped me get there. So I've hosted a great number of events in my life. There was a time that we were hosting events in London and Firebase, the Firebase one, we used to meet once a week and the room was just full of people, the venue was crowded, you could see people moving their chairs, the whiteboards, they were really eager to learn and to build things together. A second event that I remember is we were hosting many series of events and we had hosted the previous one that took nine weeks and we thought how, can, how could we do something that's going to be interesting that people could get something out there uh, in just a month. At the time, my colleagues Duncan and Stefano and myself were working with React, so we thought, let's do something with React, but how could we do something that we don't really have to worry about the infrastructure that much, after all, it's just one month, so we all agreed to use Firebase. So the attendees were able to create a website, to store data, um, to publish everything they had done. In just a month, it was a lot of learning uh, and people really took something home with them. It was incredible and we could notice that using Firebase has been a constant in our events. Community is very important to me. I've organized, spoken and attended at a great deal of meetups and conferences. I gave a talk at the last in-person Firebase Summit. It was such a lovely community. It just made me feel valued and that I belong there. It also gave me more visibility so I could share my free courses and the things that I was building with people back then. I had the opportunity to network, to meet with new people. They had many arcades, games and activities that you could do there. And I, I just interacted with so many people from all over the world. Also the announcements on the keynote, people were all eager to see the new things that were going to be announced. So it's just really lovely and the energy is so nice and I feel like I belong in this community. And speaking of the last Firebase Summit, it was really rewarding to me because right after I gave my first talk of the day, someone from the audience reached out to me and said they had the same idea, even though they didn't even live in the same country as me. So we talked about it, we shared experiences, and they said that I had inspired them to someday give a talk in public as well. And I said, why not today? So join me for the second round for this presentation and come and share your idea with the public. So I was thrilled to know that I was part of someone's life, that I facilitated the very first talk of their life to happen. This is the kind of magic that happens during the Firebase Summit, really. I've had a calling to support and to help people out, but my time was limited. I had a day job, I had many communities that I was supporting, so oftentimes I struggled that I had too many ideas but not enough time to implement them. 
You can imagine it's time consuming to see if things are doable, feasible, because you have to spend a lot of time building the infrastructure that will hold the core of the business. But really, Firebase helps me shorten the time between an idea and a proof of concept. It provides me with a framework and components that make my life easier and the development time shorter. Also, you have the opportunity to choose the programming language and SDK that work best for you. For instance, John Skitt and I, we built a mentor search action fulfillment code using a serverless approach together, and we also use Firestore to persist our data. He wrote his fulfillment in .NET, I wrote mine in Node.js, and we both achieved the same thing. When I was just in the beginning of my learning with Firebase, I was at the conference, I saw Puff in a yellow Firebase t-shirt, I reached out, I asked for help, he spent many hours helping me out. This type of experience can be seen not only in events, but also in various platforms online. If you go on Stack Overflow, GitHub, uh, many other forums, if you go on Twitter, you can see that there is a lot of momentum in the past years. People are using, they're excited about it. They're excited about the new things which are being announced each year. So it's really a very nice community to be part of. Um, also, if you like social media, if you go on uh, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, you can see tons of things that people are doing out there. And if you'd like to see code snippets, um, I have created some courses. I have accessed courses that other people have created on the internet. You can see that people are actively using, participating and being part of the story. I'm very excited about what's going to come next. And what kind of projects can you build? Let me share some of the ones that I've been building along the years. Interestingly enough, all of my pinned projects on GitHub, 100% of them currently use Firebase. I didn't do this just for this presentation or anything like that. I can really see how much I've been using Firebase along the years. I've created a bunch of projects with a serverless approach. I created the chatbot for my wedding using cloud functions, also a karaoke action during the International Women's Day events that we had. Also, I've hosted websites using Firebase hosting, the mentor search action that I talked to you about, HTML and CSS playground using React and Firebase, and Open source is really important. I created CloudRobe, a project that allows you to choose, take pictures of your clothes and create a wardrobe in the cloud. It uses Firebase cloud storage and everyone is welcome to contribute. I'm also a Google developers expert for the Google Assistant and CloudML conversational AI. And just recently, this is kind of fresh news, I also became a GDE for Firebase. So many of the things that I do when I'm creating chatbots, when I'm creating content, I use cloud functions. I also use Firebases very often. And there is just a sweet set of tools that if I want to create something using the Google Cloud, I already created that project. So I can access it from the Firebase console, from the Actions console, it's the same project that I can use the different resources that I have in each different console, but I'm already in that ecosystem. And it has even helped me with my academic purposes. I've been working on my thesis. As you can imagine, it's something that's very important to me. So even if my professors take a longer time to correct and it goes into a code state, I'm sure that it's going to be made available for them very easily. Also, I have to do a lot of research. There is a lot of theoretical part. So Firebase really helps me with the prototyping to get things up and running, to host the web page. So it's really important to me and I wouldn't use something that I'm not really confident and truly know that would be there for me the moment that I need the most. Firebase helped me land my dream job for all the reasons that I told you about. And I'm still using it up to this date. If you check the pieces of content that I've been creating on learn.vonage.com or even on Vonage Devs 
uh, YouTube, you can see that I've created a lot of demonstrations as a developer advocate. So to sum everything up that I said today, Firebase not only gave me the tools to prototype and implement in a short time frame, but helped me connect with people. It allowed me to make the best of my time, the possibility to do many projects and the opportunity to have a developer relations experience. It allowed me to create a portfolio and an appealing CV for developer relations. And honestly, I'm just really glad to be part of all of this. If you'd like to chat, to share your opinions, to ask me anything, I'm available on social media and I wish you the best during the rest of the Firebase Summit and let's catch up. I'll see you out there. Enjoy the summit. Bye bye.